Hey, Ross here from Makeoscopy. Hey, Luke here from Makeoscopy. So, something that I've wanted to do is build a functioning sonic screwdriver, and I have a few models, a few of the better models here. I've been making lots of sonic screwdrivers, but these are some, well, these are my recent ones. So this is not something I built, this is something that I got online. It is an actual screwdriver, which I find humorous. So I wanted to have it, and I did with my own chore money. I bought it. It was totally worth it. It was totally worth doing all the work I did, because it is an actual screwdriver. And you can keep the three different sizes of screwdriver bits in here. There's a big, medium, and small bit. Both and of which come with billets and flathead screwdrivers. Gee, thanks for interrupting me. So then also we have um, this, which is, uh, well, it's open because I'm still working on it. But it's got a thing called a TV Be Gone, which turns off any TV, and also it can turn them on, which is useful, simply by pressing the button here. Also, we have a color-changing LED and a photospectrometer, which can be viewed through here. A photospectrometer you can use to uh, analyze air samples and see their composition, which is quite interesting. So. Another version is the one that I did today specifically for this video and for my personal enjoyment. It is a Tom Baker screwdriver from the early era of Doctor Who. It looks like the Tom Baker screwdriver and it has an EMP. This is the charge button and this is the initiate button which actually turns on the electromagnet. I have a smaller electromagnet in here surrounded by some PVC and that's what I'm going to use for an, oscill an oscilloscope, an oscilloscope probe which is, uh, well, an oscilloscope probe is something that you use to, uh, well, I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. So this uh, PVC insulates the antenna and makes sure that it only gets uh, signals from there and there, which is useful if you want to see where a signal is coming from. I've actually used this uh, probe to figure out where a 60 UHF signal was coming from, and then it hit me. It was right in front of me. There was this big cell phone tower that I never considered could have been the source of the sound. So that was pretty interesting. And another sonic screwdriver that we're building is Luke's, and it is an EMP one, and he can describe a few of those features to you. Alright, so instead of the uh, switch on Ross's, which is basically a push-activated thing that uh, connects the uh, the two wires coming off of the capacitor that are that go through the electromagnet, I've got my electromagnet right here. And I've got a uh, switch with a charge function with the lightning bolt and an EMP function. By the way, if we haven't explained this already, EMP means electromagnetic pulse. And basically, it goes into the, uh, well, it sends a whole bunch of electromagnetic energy, which goes into the wires of whatever device you're trying to EMP. And that can uh, cause too much power to go into the device and mess with it, basically. And if you've got enough power going into it, then it can actually destroy the device. And the way that this normally happens is a nuclear bomb is set, up, is set off right above the atmosphere, and then it comes through and somehow turns into electromagnetic energy and destroys the electric power for very large areas. But these are just smaller ones with actual electromagnets and we're not sitting, setting off small nuclear bombs and microcosms of the atmosphere, so, of the upper atmosphere. So yeah, that's how we're doing it. So I've got a uh, charge, I'm trying to bridge the charge button and I just noticed why not just solder something onto there. So that might be what I will do. So basically uh, to turn it on, I'm going to uh, connect these two wires right here which puts the battery into the thing, which is way safer than Ross's. I'm pretty darn way sure. Way safer. I'm taking the risk by putting this in my pocket. So I guess I'll demonstrate that now. Yeah, I've been having trouble uh, getting this thing to charge, so that's what I'm working on right now. It is on the charge function, I believe. Yeah, none of these sonic screwdrivers, except for the store-bought version, are uh, fully functional right now. 
but we are working on it and we might have videos in the future where those are completed and fully functional, such as where we might actually use these to destroy things or turn TVs off. But right now we don't have any of those videos, but we did want to show you so far what we've got. So if you do want those, like this video because we need to know that people actually want to see versions of this video where we actually demonstrate our screwdrivers. So if you do want to see a video in which we demonstrate the screwdrivers, feel free to press the like button, even if you don't like it. If you hate it, but you want to like it so you can get that video, just comment that you absolutely hate our video. Put as much commentary in there as you want. We just want some feedback from our viewers. Don't just say, I hate this video, and then just move on. Say, I Tell hate us this why you hate our video. I hate this video because Luke and Ross are complete idiots who don't know how to solder. That would be one option of how... Though we do crazy. know how to solder, our soldering iron, though, is very um, difficult. The solder just drips right off of it. Yeah, you it, can't really tin it. But we, so we're going to uh, get all of the stuff off of that. The uh, gunk on the outside, the, um, the oxidation. But until then, we will just be left up to our wire-twisting ways. So, is that charged? No. Well, I guess you'll charge that with the pliers. Which itself seems not to be working. So, um, here's just a little bit about our channel. So we upload videos from Luke, me, and Tyler. Um, we upload Who is that Tyler kid you speak of? Well, he uh, he's not here right now because we live in separate houses on opposite sides of the area. But sometimes we can get together for videos. But whenever we can't. We, Luke and I can still get together for videos, and he can still make his own videos, and we can still make our individual videos, and that's probably what we'll be doing. Um, we're probably gonna have weekly videos. This is one of our first videos, so we're not still we're still not sure about that. But we would love if you could either tell your friends about this, comment, like, all of that uh, helps the YouTube algorithms figure out that people actually do like this kind of stuff. And also, if you, if you subscribe, make sure to watch all the videos, even if you don't like them, or they will start to fade off of your subscriber feed. That's how YouTube works. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But if you don't care about the subscriber feed and you just want to check up on your own, that's fine. And also, we would love suggestions. We will make whatever you want as long as it's within reason, and because we'd like to see our fans be happy. Be yeah, yes, yes, that. So, um, t is it working? It doesn't appear so. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess that'll conclude today's video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.